We wanted to do one of the tip of the weeks. We talk so much about these web hooks and we get a lot of questions in the Facebook group and support tickets if certain things are possible. And one thing that comes up from time to time is being able to send text messages and alerts and notifications uh, to your members for certain actions that are taken on the site. So we wanted to focus this tip of the week, and David's done an amazing job putting together these slides. We can review them in just a moment, but we're gonna focus this tip of the week on how to send text message notifications when your members receive new reviews on their profile pages. And if it's all right with you, David, I'd like to uh, pass over the controls and you can take it from here for us. Absolutely. Thank you. So we started talking about webhooks and what you can do with Zapier and other webhook platforms like Pabbly a few months ago now. Uh, the first kind of webinar segment uh, that we did on this was uh, integrating MailChimp. And so with this one, a, a really useful and exciting feature is being able to send text message notifications to your members. In this specific case, when they receive new reviews. So before we get into uh, all the nitty gritty details uh, regarding that, some basic overview first about Zapier integrations and webhooks in general. So what can you do right now when it comes to webhooks and how they relate to Zapier? So right now you can send data from forms on your Brilliant Directory's website out to third-party platforms via webhooks uh, and via platforms like Zapier. So this includes new member signups when somebody signs up to your newsletter. If somebody submits the contact form on your website or anytime uh, new leads or member reviews are submitted on your website, as well as whenever somebody submits any custom form that you may have on your website. So uh, the main theme here is when somebody submits some type of form on your website, you can capture that data and send it out using webhooks to a third-party platform to handle that uh, data and information in some sort of other way. Now, phase two, we talked about this uh, when we uh, first started talking about webhooks a few months ago. This is coming very soon where uh, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel here. But phase two, you'll actually be able to receive data into your Brilliant Directories website from third-party platforms. So right now, you can take data from your BD site and export it to third-party platforms. Coming soon, you'll actually be able to bring data in to your Brilliant Directories website from third-party platforms. Yeah, and actually, I think a good share here, David, let me go to the Brilliant Directories blog. Um, what we can do is we've done previous webinars on uh, connecting Zapier and Pabbly. Let me share those links if somebody wanted to watch them after the webinar. Uh, let's look at Pabbly first. Okay, so in this webinar here, Pabli and Gmail, how to create a, or make a drip email sequence to welcome new members. This one was really cool. And there was another one we did when we first did our integrations with Zapier. Here's one, how to sync your Brilliant Directories data uh, with MailChimp. So the tip of the week today is covering another use case uh, for webhooks, but let me share these two previously uh, covered topics. And these are just examples that there's over 3000 connections you can do with tools like Zapier and Pabbly. Uh, so these are just a small sample of things that you can do. Excellent. So the benefits when it comes to SMS or text message notifications. So first, what happens now by default when your members receive a new review? Well, first, they can receive new reviews, and those new reviews, once approved, either by the members or by you, the website admin, will then display on that member's profile page on your website. And when the member does receive a new review, they'll be notified via email that they've uh, received a new review and they're prompted to log in to view the review. Or uh, if your website has the reply to member reviews add-on, the member can actually reply to any reviews that have been left for them on their profile. Now, where do the benefits come into play when it comes to SMS alerts and text message notifications? Well, through webhooks and the Zapier integration, we'll be using, and we'll get more into the details here in a little bit, but we'll be using a, a third-party platform called Twilio. And so you'll be able to notify members actually via text message when they receive new reviews. So by doing this, the members might be more likely to actually come back to your website, log into their account, and manage or reply to their reviews. You know, oftentimes people, they might 
not check their inbox all that often. Emails, they might mistake it for something else and quickly delete it without reading it. Whereas if they're receiving a text message about something, they're more likely to, uh, to actually read that text message. It'll grab their, uh, their attention. And this could potentially result in more website traffic activity. Uh, and arguably, really, really important, keeping your website and community top of mind for your members so uh, they don't forget that they have an account on your website and that the community exists and that we, we want them to, uh, to stay active within our community. So a few quick things to note before we get into showing you how to get all of this set up on your Brilliant Directory's website. The first thing uh, to keep in mind, and we'll show how to do this, is that your members' phone numbers have to contain a plus and the country code of their phone number. So for example, if it's uh, a member who has an American phone number or any North American phone number, that phone number would need to start with plus one. For now, uh, we'll need to create a widget and add it to a form. This might sound a little complicated. Uh, it's really simple the way we'll be going about doing this, and we'll show you step by step so you can follow along. Um, just some things to, to keep in mind as we're going through this process, and we'll th show you the steps right after this as well. Then, as I mentioned, we'll be using a third-party platform called Twilio to actually facilitate the sending of text messages to our members. So. Twilio does require us to have a paid account with them with at least a $20 balance. And each text message that's sent costs 0.79 cents. So with that $20 balance, you'll be able to send out just over 2,500 texts. So if 2,500 reviews are being submitted on your website for your members, you're probably collecting more than enough member dues and, and fees to uh, pay for uh, the Twilio service here. And then another cool thing, I'm sure pretty much all of us by this point have uh, received some spam text notifications. And if they're following the rules and regulations, they typically end with a, a little note saying that you can reply with stop to unsubscribe uh, to stop receiving text messages from that phone number. And so we'll be able to implement that in our text messages as well. So this is the basic step-by-step -step process that we'll be going through, kind of the recipe that we have here to be able to send text message notifications to our members when they receive new reviews on their profiles. So we've got a, a couple steps that we'll take on our Brilliant Directories website first. This will be, like I mentioned, making sure that our members' phone numbers contain the plus and the country code at the beginning of, of their phone numbers. And then we'll also be creating that HTML widget uh, and adding it to the write a review form so that the webhook can actually capture and fetch the member's phone number. Then on Twilio, we'll uh, need to, like I said, create a Twilio account and make sure we add the, uh, the minimum uh, funds that Twilio requires, $20. Uh, and then on Zapier, we'll actually go ahead and create the webhook to enable the new review that's been submitted on our website. We'll capture some of that information and then we'll shoot a text message notification over to the member, letting them know that they've just received a new review on our website and that they can log in to manage that review. Awesome. Yeah. And actually, when we put together this tip of the week, we made a, a, a development card for our team. So we, you can almost omit step one, what to do on your BD site. But for now, we do need to do these two steps, um, making sure the phone number field is country code and phone number and adding the HTML widget, which is just that purple text that we see there that we're going to add in there. And for your sake, you just need to copy and paste uh, what we provide for you. I think the next slide is, let's see how this works, huh, David? Yep. And one last thing before we, we dive in here, just to uh, address a question that we got. Yeah, you could do this uh, not just with Zapier, but with other webhook platforms, you know, like Pabli. Uh, it's just in this case, we'll be showing you how to do it with Zapier. Also to that point, you don't necessarily need to use Twilio. There's lots of solutions such as TextMagic and dozens more that can facilitate the sending of SMS text messages. Um, you can compare pricing and things like that. We saw Twilio was just really easy and plug and play kind of, so we selected that one for this webinar. However, if you're comfortable or familiar with another SMS sending platform, text message sending platform, uh, I'm sure Zap or Pabli probably integrate with those as well. 
So in this example, let's actually start with sending a review to a member and seeing them receive that text message. And then we'll go and show you guys uh, these steps here, uh, what to do on your BD site in Twilio and Zapier uh, and take it from there. So let's go to, uh, this is a sample members profile page on our webinar demo site. Uh, let's go ahead and write a review uh, for them. Um, also with this, uh, member he has inputted a phone number uh, so this member does have a phone number let's actually quickly look at that in the dashboard so if we look at the basic information uh, so we could see the phone number field here so we can see the uh, country code uh, and phone number field and this member has entered a phone number we created a, a quick google voice number for this example so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and write a review all right, and now upon sending this review, yeah, this member would normally simply receive an email notification from the website, letting them know that there is a new review uh, that's either pending for them to accept, uh, to accept or decline, or it's automatically accepted for them. I'll go ahead and submit the review. Now what I have here, so this review is, now I have here, here's the, uh, the Google Voice number here, and we can see I just received a text message, and we created this message, congrats, your profile received a two-star rating on my directory, which is, you know, we choose what's here, and we created a shorter bit.ly link that links to, if you click on this, to the, mem to the website, and it sends them to the account uh, reviews or recommendations page in their member dashboard. So if they're logged into the site, uh, it'll take them directly here. And if not, uh, they'll be prompted with the login screen and they can log into their account uh, to come here. But in any event, they're being sent to your website uh, from a text message uh, that's being sent to their smartphone in real time. So let's see how uh, we set this up. And David, if I skip a step or, or go too quickly, uh, please stop me and uh, we can make sure that we're explaining everything as clearly as possible. So first uh, first things first, um, what we wanna do is in the basic information tab of the member's profile page, um, we're all familiar with this, it asks for their first name, last name, and generally there is just a phone number field and it's just an open text field such as uh, all the other ones. A few weeks ago, uh, or a month or so ago, we created a new field where members, phone number field, where you can and select your country code plus enter your phone number. So the first step is we're gonna to wanna to change this from a regular old phone number field, which was just the plain text, uh, to the one with the country code. Uh, so the first thing to do is go to the form manager, and this will ensure that members are entering phone numbers with their country codes. And the name of the form is listing contact details member. That's the, bait, that's the form that's used on the basic information tab. Some people have cloned this and, and used different forms for different membership plans, but this is the default and standard one. I will share a link to this in the chat and we'll include all this in the blog post with the webinar replay as well. So when we edit this, what you can do quickly is just use this filter and search for phone. And we can see here the type of field for phone number is phone number plus country. Before the update that I did, this is gonna be set to just a phone number field. So all you need to do is change this to phone number plus country code and save your changes. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna change this field and prompt the member to select a country code and then put their phone number in. That takes care of that. Uh, the next thing we need to do is this. Let's go back to the review page. So this is the write a review form. And what webhooks do are when a form is filled out, it sends each piece of data into Zapier or Pably. So it's going to send the title, uh, the member's ID whose review it was, and so on. By default, it doesn't include the member, this sample member's phone number to use as a piece of data when we're doing the Zapier workflow logic. And we're gonna get into that in a second. So in a nutshell, what we need to do, and I'll inspect this here so you guys can see, is we're going to add a hidden field. And we can see here, we're going to create a hidden field and it's going to automatically input as part of this form, the member's phone number. So this member's phone number is plus one, and 424, this is that sample Google Voice number that we created. So this data will be sent 
when the review is submitted. And then in the Zapier workflow, we can select this number to be notified with an SMS text message that they have a review. So basically it's, it's, it's the own member's phone number. And then in a future update, we're going to include this automatically so you don't have to do this step. But for now, you guys can jump ahead if you want to take advantage of this and do this, not just for the writer review form, but custom forms or other forms as well that you want to utilize the webhook logic with. Uh, so what we do here is this is the two-step process where it says create an HTML widget and then add the newly created widget to the writer review form. So let's do the create HTML widget first. So in the widget manager, and I've created the widget here, but we can do it again together. Let me click edit real quick and we'll do it again together. I'm gonna copy this. This is the one line that you need to do. It's gonna fetch the member's phone number and then we're gonna set it as a hidden field in that writer review form. So when you come to the widget manager, you're going to create a new widget and just give it a simple nickname like get members phone number or whatever you need. This is just an internal nickname. And we're gonna paste that uh, line of code. Now this will, what's between the brackets will get the member's phone number and I'm adding the plus sign in there. As David mentioned, for this to work, for an SMS to be sent, tools like Twilio really need an exact phone number. So that includes a plus sign, the country code, and the specific phone number. So I'll just go ahead and save the changes. So now we have a widget that's going to get the member's phone number. So what we wanna do is copy the short code. Now we wanna add this widget into the writer review form. And that's the last step you need to do on your Beat website. So we'll go to form manager. And let me search for review. Let me put this here. So the review form, the writer review form is called listing write review. And what you'd wanna do is customize it if you don't already have it customized because we wanna make a change to it. In this case, I've already customized it, but I'll repeat the steps that I took to add that hidden field. So we can see here that this is that hidden field I added right at the top there. What we can do is I'll add another one again with, and this is that widget short code that we created, get members phone number. So you wanna add a field and under the fancy fields, there is one for hidden field and we'll just call it get member phone number. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna be a hidden field and you're gonna to wanna to open this cog and uh, this is the magic. What it's going to do is we're gonna set a default value for this. So if a member has entered a phone number, this widget to get the member's phone number is going to fill the default value as with the member's phone number. I'll go ahead and save the changes. And actually now, because I've already done this once, I have two hidden fields doing the exact same thing. Let's actually go look at this form. Let's refresh the page. And if we look here, we have get member's phone number right there, and there's the phone number plus one, and this is the one I had done before the webinar. I called it member phone number, so there it is right there. Um, I'll delete one of these since we don't need both. So it seems like a lot, but we've really just modified uh, two or three things on the Brilliant Directors website around forms. Okay, then you need to create a Twilio uh, account. So twilio.com and you can create a free account. So that would take care of the create a Twilio account and add funds step. Now the fun part, which happens on Zapier. This is where we're going to create a webhook and tie in your BD site uh, with Twilio to send text messages to your members when they receive reviews. So if you're not familiar with Zapier, it's okay. You can watch those other videos we shared um, from our previous blog post, but really it's just a three-step process. I'll, I'll go through this step-by-step, step, but just an overview. Uh, you create the webhook, that's step one. Step two is we just check that the member has, a, the review has a phone number from the member and that the review status is either pending or it's been published or accepted. Because uh, we, if it's waiting for admin moderation, we don't really want to send those to the member because they can't see anything because um, it's waiting for the admin to moderate it. And then the last thing is, okay, what should we send 
to the member using uh, the Twilio SMS uh, services. So yeah, when you step one is we're going to choose what we want to do, the event. We want webhooks by uh, Zapier. And the event is catch hook. I guess we'll go through this uh, one more time. And that's it there, uh, basically. Uh, let me click on edit mode, excuse me. Uh, so choose an event, you're gonna choose webhooks by Zapier. And it gives you three options for the event to happen. Retrieve, pull, catch raw hook, or just catch hook. I don't know exactly the difference between catch raw hook and catch hook, but we need to select catch hook. That's basically gonna get all the individual data points of the review. And, and then we can play with them with the Zapier, uh, the Zapier tools here. Okay, and we don't have to do anything here. Pick off a child key. That's if you want to, it says here, um, if you want to like pick a, grab a specific piece of data uh, from this, uh, you can do so. We don't need to do that in this case. We'll just continue. And then you can do some tests, but what you get is this URL here. So after you do these two steps, your webhook URL. So we copy this. And if we go to the developer hub and we go to webhooks and I'll search for review, uh, we want to paste that in the webhook link. That's what it's for. You come to the webhook section of the developer hub and you copy this, your webhook URL uh, to there. And then you can do some tests. You can fill out the review form on your site and it can see if it, you can see what data it fetched, uh, your IP number, uh, the ratings, overall one, 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 one. Uh, so we just did a test actually where we give, gave the, uh, the member two stars. So we can actually see if we want to do another test to make sure the data came in. That was request I, we'll see two stars here. This is a webinar test. So we can see that the webhook is working uh, properly. And we've decided to add like if statements because we really don't want this to fire every time. So we've created a, a filter and let's check it out. So only continue if the review status is either zero and the member phone number exists or if the review status is two and the phone number exists. So what are the review statuses? Um, well, members, reviews can have several statuses. I'll share this link, which is from our documentation center. And there are several review statuses. A review can be pending, accepted, declined, or waiting for the admin. So we just want new reviews that are pending and accepted to be sent as text messages to the members. So I'll send, I'll share a link to this article here. And it just gives you an overview on what you can do on the member reviews page in the interactions section of the admin. However, you can see the review statuses as they are as database values. In this case, pending is zero and accepted equals two. So we created just a little filter here that we only want to send text messages if these conditions are met. The review status is zero and the member phone number exists or the review status is two and the phone number exists. After that, we choose another action we chose Twilio and it asks you to sync and connect your Twilio account. It provides instructions for that. And we want to send uh, an SMS number. You can even do a call phone. I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna send an SMS and continue. And this is where it asks you to connect your account, which we've done. And now this is the magic. So when you set up a Twilio account, they're going to provide you with a kind of like a phone number for your text messages. I think they have services where you can choose the area code and things like that. We just did the quickie version and it gave us the 850 area code. Uh, so when we do this drop down, it's the only option here. So we just, this is automatically pulled from Twilio. So the from number, phone number is there. Now, David and I played with this next one here, alphanumeric sender ID. In full transparency, we don't know what that is. We put some values in there and this stopped working. Uh, so for the sake of this webinar, our recommendation is to leave uh, this blank. And who is the two number? Who's the number that is going to get the text messages? Well, when we added that hidden field into the writer review form, we added the member's phone number, the member who you're leaving a review for, their phone number as a hidden field. And now that becomes a data point of the webhook. So the webhook parses out all the information that was sent 
uh, with the review. The user ID, that's the, the member who received the review, uh, my IP address, the form that was submitted, the reviewer's name, the title, and that hidden field we created, the member phone number. So we select this and it's dynamic. So this is just from the example, but it will change. I guess you can put multiple phone numbers, David, there. Let me choose two, but yeah, you could, I guess. In this case, just choose the field that was designated at the member's phone number. And here we wrote a custom message. Congrats, your profile received a new, and again, we were able to pull in a piece of data from the hook. In this case, we chose the overall rating. So uh, you can do other things uh, like expertise language. We just chose this one here and we can see it added it wherever the cursor ones, I'll, I'll, I'll delete it. You received a new, and it's gonna have the number there, in this case, two star rating on, and you can change this. Uh, you can say the JSON directory, whatever you want. Uh, click to log in and see your reviews. So with this link here, and I guess, you know, shorter messages are, are probably gonna be better, but you can choose. But what we did here is we wanted to send the member into their account dashboard to the reviews page. So what we did is we took this link here, it's the same for every member, Just they just need to be logged into their account, it's account recommendations. And we used Bitly, you can use Owly or any other URL shortener. And I'll just refresh this page. And I'll share a link to Bitly. So just so it's a little shorter on the, uh, in the text message, we use the shortener here and we click shorten and we're all familiar with this and we can copy this. So now this will be the shorter URL that I used in the, uh, the text message here. And then we added this ourselves, reply stop to opt out. So Twilio automatically sending these SMS text messages, if they receive a stop reply back, they will no longer send future text messages using that service uh, from your account to the member. Uh, so that's just a courtesy there uh, for everyone. We added this ourselves. Uh, the media URL, we also got kind of tricked up with this. We did put the link to the website here and that kind of broke things. So uh, again, I'm not familiar with what the media URL is exactly right now. So we left this blank and that is basically it. The from number is automatically selected from Twilio. We left the alphanumeric sender ID blank. The two number is the data point from the webhook. That's the member's phone number that was in the hidden field we created. We created a short message here. Uh, with a shortened link here using Bitly. And that was it. We can press uh, continue and we can do review and test. And everything worked out great. If I come back here, I just received the other text messages. So I've been talking for about 20 minutes here from uh, 422 to 441. And I received uh, the same message here. Uh, but this will work for all your members who have valid phone numbers there. Did I skip anything, David, again? I'm, I'm just really worried that, that we rushed over something or I'm sure that people will have uh, questions here. No, I think you covered everything. We did get one good question. They asked what happens if a member put in a landline phone number? That's a really good question. Most of the time, the text message, it'll just disappear into the ether. It won't be delivered or received. However, uh, some landline carriers do support text to landline messaging. So if that applies, the member's phone will ring. And when they pick it up, uh, the message, the text message will be read aloud to them through a uh, text-to-speech program. So really not something uh, to worry about. However, if you really, really want to make sure you're sending uh, these messages to mobile phone numbers, I guess you could edit the contact details form, add a new field, uh, specifically asking the members for a mobile phone number, uh, and then just capture the input for that field and send that over to uh, to Twilio in the webhook. Hi, David. Um, I also wanted to mention here in Twilio, you, you can go to the monitor section and under messaging, uh, you can see the status of uh, the text messages that were sent. And we had a failed one in the beginning and it gives you a little alert here. So you know, it can very well be that the, the person didn't enter a valid phone number or it's a landline or it's missing the country code or, or something else. Um, so 
there will be a percentage of members who don't get the text messages, but you're not going to be charged for those probably. And there's no harm, no foul. They're still receiving the email, I guess, from the website. So that's basically in a nutshell. This is just one example of how to use the webhooks, specifically SMS alerts, and how your website can better connect uh, with your members and more importantly, bring them back to your site. And yeah, so great tip of the week. Thank you, David, for putting this together. Uh, you know, after this webinar, we've got some great suggestions from you guys. We're gonna work so we can totally eliminate the first step here of what to do on your BD site and just have that available uh, in the webhook data.